Hello and welcome to another episode of Methods of a Peeper. This is Methods of a Peeper 7, uh, which I'm so happy to be able to bring to you. I know it's been a couple years since I've added uh, another episode to this series, um, but 2013 has turned out to be a very creepy year at Union Square, so it's been an ideal time to discover a new peeper. This is the Classy Peeper. Now the Classy Peeper's desired method of peeping is balcony peeping. Uh, balcony smartphone picture peeping, to be precise. Uh, that's where uh, he stands over uh, his desired subject with his smartphone, aiming the camera at her, and uh, snaps pictures of her until she has to get up and walk away, which is the uh, general uh, conclusion to a standard smartphone picture peeping uh, session. In just the few years since the last methods of a peeper, smartphones have become a very popular item uh, for peeping, something we wouldn't have seen, say, five years ago, but now they're extremely common. The limitation of a actual camera is the obviousness of it. A smartphone picture peeper can utilize the less obvious camera built into his iPhone and in doing so loom directly over his subjects. This type of picture peeping allows the peeper to hold a more prominent position uh, within the comfort zone of his subjects without raising so much suspicion as to uh, what he's doing. He can pretend that he's texting a friend or surfing the web for scarves or whatever. Uh, it also can look to the observer that he is part of the group that he's uh, picture peeping. However, someone with a trained eye would notice the complete lack of interaction within the group. Possibly uh, even notice the antisocial nature of the behavior itself. Now, you might have already noticed that this was filmed over the course of uh, several different days. I, I think. Here, I, uh, in this particular video, I have four different occasions when I film the classy peeper doing his uh, smartphone picture peeping uh, balcony style. I've often gotten questions uh, from people asking, do the girls know what's happening? Are, are the subjects of his picture peeping or any peeper, are they aware of what's happening? I think in regards to this peeper, the classy peeper, um, his subjects are aware, and they uh, show this in different ways. Sometimes you can, uh, they get up and just leave because his positioning is so near to them. Or there are also awkward facial expressions uh, that, in my opinion, hint towards a realization of what's happening around them. And similarly, I, I think the classy peeper is aware that they're aware. Uh, he just isn't concerned about that in his process of the project that he's taken part in. I have no doubt that the classy peeper is aware of my presence and uh, what I'm doing, yet, for instance, on this completely separate day, uh, he chose to stand directly behind me just a few feet and uh, give me this beautiful uh, illustration of a classic balcony peeping session. One of the observations that I've gotten in feedback from my peepers videos is uh, one of the exciting parts for a peeper during a session, especially a picture peeping session, um, is the danger aspect, the risk factor. And that these benefits are actually of more value than the uh, final outcome of having a phone full of pictures of uh, girls at the end of the day. I have no doubt that there is truth to this theory, uh, but in this case it also doesn't prevent the classy peeper from performing his own MACMA, uh, make-believe acting casual milling about. Here the classy peeper's MACMA is talking on his cell phone. I know that uh, he's spotted me filming him uh, and doesn't show much concern for this, which I, I prefer. And this particular point, I think I would leave it up to the viewer to decide exactly why he would be uh, unconcerned yet still playing him ACMA. Anyhow, I'm very happy to be able to introduce you to the Classy Peeper. 
plan on keeping an eye out for him at the park. He doesn't seem to be showing any signs of giving up anytime soon. And I invite you, if, if you find yourself at Union Square and you come in contact with the Class CP, perhaps even doing a balcony session on you, um, give him a hello. Say hello to the Classy Peeper from Methods of a Peeper for me. And uh, maybe he's even shooting a little video of you. It wouldn't be completely unfounded. I don't see why anyone wouldn't want hours and hours and hours of shots like these backed up uh, in their smartphones. Uh, I'm going to leave you now so that you can uh, finish up watching the last few minutes of this picture peeping session that the classy peeper is performing on this girl. Um, I invite you to watch Methods of a Peeper 1 through 6 and you can learn more about the Peepers of Union Square. Also, don't miss the Peepers of Union Square on Inside Edition. I was able to get all of the Peepers and make them stars on the TV show Inside Edition. You can easily search that on Google. Um, but have a nice day. I'm so happy I have you all viewing my videos. Keep watching the videos on YouTube.